Hi and well, welcome back to part two of this DSO 068 oscilloscope. Uh, I'm going to focus on the adjustable capacitors for the input, so compensating capacitors, which I have broken both, as you can see in my last video. Uh, right now I have a really messy input signal which overshoots totally because I have whacked both capacitors most probably. And yeah, let's turn this off and that one off. Here are the new capacitors. Just a small explanation what I'm going to do. Uh, it's two voltage ranges. We're going to start with the 0.1 volt input. And here's C5, which has, yeah, it's broken. If it were broken originally, a little bad soldering or my massive muscles destroyed, I don't know, but it's broken. And both the variable capacitors are 25 picofarads and I have a sort amount of different ones here which I will try out which one works for me but let's start with 0.1 volt I'm going to desolder the C5 as there and I would maybe try to put it in the same place on the surface mouse pads but if it doesn't work I'm going to put it just in parallel over R3 that's where I have written down for myself to know about it that's 0.1 volt input. Then there's a 1 volt input. And um, as one of my viewers uh, commented on my earlier video, I'm going to switch out one more capacitor. His C8 variable capacitor is going to go off. And as the same as earlier, I might put it on the surface mount pads or I'm going to put it in parallel over R5. But there's also C7. And uh, the viewer recommended me to change it. It's right now 120 picofarads. At least it should be that. I haven't checked it if it's correct or not, but I will do. And he recommended 100 picofarad. I think his name is Alex because he's commenting in Russian and Google Translate turns your name into Alex. So I'm going to call you that now. Uh, and there's one more thing about these two. Uh, my oscilloscope is version H. Sorry. H and in the schematics for H is 120 picofarad. But the earlier version, version F, this C7 is 100 picofarad. So I have one here. So I'm going to try to replace C7 with a new one and then the variable capacitors. But that's the boring part to watch, so I'm going to take this apart and you're going to watch a small time lapse while I mess around with the components. So I fixed the 0.1 volt range first and now I have a nice, I don't know if you can see it, it's a bit bad lighting here. There we go, and you see my camera too. Uh, that's the open wine volt range. It's a bit noisy and flickery, but now it's a nice square wave and not jumping around and looking all ugly. Now we try the one volt range. So I fixed the one volt range too, or also, and I ended up not using a variable capacitor on C8. I only messed it out here. Uh, this C8 I, I totally skipped and C7 I have changed from 120 to 100 picofarad. When I checked the 100 with my tester it said it was 98. But if you're going to do this you have to try yourself around and mess around with the components. And so if you have problems buy a bunch of capacitors. You might have capacitors lying around. So you can try different values and end up with a good signal. C5 up here on the open wine volt range. I ended up putting a cross R3 like a big box here. It's up here in the corner or the middle here. Big red bulge. So now it's working so far. So I'm going to put everything together, put it back in the case and uh, connect the external connections, everything and check it. 
and there might be a third part where I'm testing it with input signals from my transistor tester and some other things and I will also try to connect it to my computer and use it as a USB oscilloscope. This is only taking inputs and you get the uh, measurements on your screen. So that's that. So see you later.